We're standing on the northern shoreline of the Malahide estuary. So behind me is the village of Malahide. To my right here is the main line, Belfast to Dublin railway line. Uh, Donna Bate is a couple of kilometres to the north. A six kilometre walking and cycling route connecting Malahide to Donna Bate. It's going to run across the Malahide estuary alongside the Dublin Belfast railway line. It's a unique project. There's no other scheme like this in Ireland or I think in Europe where we're building a, a high quality amenity like this beside a mainline viaduct that's over 150 years old and that's surrounded by water and that's in a special area of conservation. The planning restrictions on this scheme are such that we can only work during the summer window when there's no wintering birds on the, on the estuary and then we can't work with live railway traffic passing. So once the last train passes through, the line is effectively closed and the contractor can move in, can move in his staff and his machinery and then when the first train is scheduled everyone has to be off site and everything has to be uh, sealed up again and made safe. And that runs from approximately midnight to five o'clock give or take. We would hope to be have this fully open by 2026, that's our, that's our current target time frame at the moment. Well, to the south of this we have a, a scheme running from Sutton to Malahide and that will ultimately link into this on the northern end and into the Sutton to Sandy Cove S2S route. The Fingal Coast away, that's a 32 kilometre coastal route that will link Donabate to Rush, Loch Shinney, Skerries and Balbriggan and on towards the Meath County border. That's at an er earlier stage, that will take a number of years to build so it's a slow process but it's a painstaking process and we think that the end product is going to be in place for decades and it needs to be done right and we think we're, we're on the right track with that.